Right, I'm meant to be going and getting my new project car and bringing it home. And the absolute heavens have opened. Actually, do you know what? The sun's just poked through. Might not get too wet doing it. But suffice to say, I'm not going to take my nice camera out just in case. So forgive the phone quality footage for what follows. Right, rain's abated. It's guaranteed to start again as soon as we get out of the van. Uh, but we are on our way to go and get the car. There we go. We have one very filthy project car on the driveway. Uh, I'm going to give it a wash and clear all this crap off the windscreen. Probably give the interior a bit of a clean as well, just so it's a nicer place to work. And then it's a question of getting the jack out and swinging it round so that the other car can also fit on the drive. That's a bit better. Nice and shiny. Wind's out, so obviously it's blowing stuff all over it already. If you are in the market for some very good condition Montreal blue body panels, and yeah, you can wait a year. <laughs> I will be selling these at some point down the line. Also, if you're in the market for some Racing Dynamics wheels, those will also be up for sale much, much sooner. Um, I can pop those off anytime once it's up on jack stands and that is the next job to now shuffle this round on a jack if I can and tuck it up tight to here before it starts raining again so I can stop upsetting my neighbours and get my car back in I'm a bit stuck I've sent up the uh, bat signal for help from neighbours see who turns up but uh, I've got two jacks under it, I've got it very low, so it's not going to fall on anybody. We've got the wheels off the ground. Um, but my drive is not very flat, so even though, as you can see, I don't know if you can make out there, my jacks have reasonably big wheels, that one has anyway. Um, I can't quite get it to roll without a bit more muscle. So yeah, just need some extra strength to shuffle it, shuffle it across. They're in quite the two car driveway <laughs> probably need to angle this one over a little bit more to this side towards the bins um, to create a bit more space it's a bit wonked at the moment um, but yeah we gave up on the jacks and did a 93 point turn with my friend's guidance much appreciated um, and yeah need to clean that screen still and I haven't done inside but I'll probably wait to get up on jack stands until uh, well, the floor's not so wet for a start, and until my back's not hurting from trying to shove it around. Ready to start the project, really. Using an old trim remover to uh, get the remains of the cover off the windscreen. Seems to be working pretty well. It's the next day and as you can probably tell from the wind blowing the trees around and the colour of the sky, the weather has been absolutely filthy all day. So I've been doing a lot of planning, a lot of thinking about what components are going to go in here. A few things, there's a bit more space on this one it looks like for the um, brake master cylinder. So actually I think an eye booster might fit in there which would be nice. I'm probably not going to do that straight away, um, but an electric brake servo basically rather than the traditional approach um, of adding um, vacuum electrically 
this is the vacuum line here and um, as you can see it goes into the uh, into the uh, manifold there do I mean manifold? In plenum, whatever you want to call it um, so it could actually actually there's a rubber pipe down there which you probably can't see very well um, so I could get in there and put in a uh, put my pump pump won't quite fit down there which is a shame but there is space underneath so it'd be nice to tuck the whole mechanism away oh, hello you're open um it's a different like electronics box to my last one um so i mean because you can tell it's incredibly clean and tidy under here this has been so well looked after um i wish the washer bottle was in the position that some of them are up there i think it's the two liter um which just leaves the front of the engine bay nice and neat and tidy but that's okay it means the fluids are all accessible i want this time around to have my fluids all up here so power steering pump um, coolant all of that just really nice and accessible up the front as they are on this with the radiator there um, this radiator will probably go it's a bit oversized what we need certainly don't need that enormous fan um, but it is neat and tidy but yeah it'd be tempting to lose the fan and stick a radiator up here as i have with my um existing car and the power steering cooling loop there i do wonder if i ought to put in some uh power steering cooling uh on my car um, i don't really have a cooling loop on it at the moment i wonder if that's getting a bit warm um air box up here that's obviously going to come out or the shroud can be can go um crack is that so we've got an electric fan up front and a mechanical fan at the back and that can all go obviously um, and that gives us lots of space for batteries we want the batteries to be tucked up as far as possible that way so probably going to have inverter here although if I could fit it it'd be nice to come in over the top of the ABS pump over here um, and tuck it right into that corner almost um, and then keep all our batteries very central um, we'll have to see you do a bit of measuring a bit of mocking up with some cardboard maybe um, yeah plan i think is definitely to put the charge around the back this time which will keep things very neat and tidy up here just inverter there or there batteries fluids um, high voltage junction box will probably hide that away inside the battery box so that you've not got any HV live until things kick in just have a uh, bunch of signal cables going in from zombie the controller um, and two HV lines DC HV lines coming out into our inverter charger etc maybe different plugs for each of those just to keep things really neat and tidy i want this build to be i'm doing this build on a more of a budget than i expected to but i do want it to be very tidy as i say i'm planning to put my charger in the back this time i could tuck it away underneath where the um, petrol tank was but that makes it really inaccessible and a bit rubbish so my plan is we'll lose the uh, toolkit which is complete I think and in good shape um, why is there an extra uh, bracket for a uh, spare wheel um, I'm going to probably relocate the battery and put a smaller battery in and then use this well here for the charger it comes all the way around here um, and I've checked my charger in my existing car the other day and I think it will sit in there quite nicely I don't know exactly about a separate where how I route the cooling loop or the uh, um, radiator for that yet um, but that is the plan and then probably tuck a new smaller battery up there um, I've checked and they fit if you take this out you can sort of slot a battery down in there um, I don't think the DC to DC will boil it to death but you know you find these things out by trying don't you so yeah charging out the back shifts a bit more weight back here look at this very cool stickers <laughs> uh, 
Um, it'd be nice to find a way to keep those somehow. Um, yeah. That is the plan out the back here. And yeah, I've got a six CD changer. <laughs> Right, that's it for this little video. Uh, not an enormous amount done, just brought the car home. Uh, but I've been doing lots of planning in the background that just doesn't make for very good footage. Um, thinking a lot about the interior. Need to work out how I'm going to talk about that on video. Some sort of, uh, I don't want to do death by PowerPoint, but show you some examples maybe. My uh, very aesthetically intelligent daughter has helped me uh, work that one out. Um, doing the interior might actually be quite early in this project because um, I want to get the interior I've got, the spare one, out of the storage unit and into this car. So we might do some experimentation with recolouring carpets and seats fairly soon uh, and dashboards um, and fitting a PTC heater as well. I've acquired a Kia Nero PTC heater, um, which the code for controlling, canvas control heater, the code for working controlling that has been worked out. Hopefully it can be integrated into Zombie. Um, so that's going to be going in as part of the interior refit. Um, but it also means that I can get some stuff up on eBay and maybe make some money back to fund the next bits of the project. Um, might do a bit of a deep dive on component parts. I've chosen my battery pack, which I'll talk about at some point. Um, but yeah, weather, time, all of the rest of it. It doesn't feel like I've done a lot, but the car's here now and I can do some work on it next video might actually be me getting the other one finally ready for paint although to be honest i'm at the point where i might just let the body shop do it thanks for watching uh, i shall catch you on the next one please do like and subscribe and all that goodness and buy some merch as well i'll see if i can put a merch link in the description for this one <laughs>